President Obama's pending Supreme Court nominee pick will likely bring the issue of abortion, which he has tried to put on the back burner, front and center. And he got a dress rehearsal for this passionate debate over the weekend when he addressed the graduates of Notre Dame University. Notre Dame's decision to give an honorary degree to a president who supports abortion rights enraged many on the Catholic University's campus. President Obama confronted the controversy head on. While we know that the views of most Americans on the subject are complex and even contradictory, the fact is that at some level the views of the two camps are irreconcilable. The camp seemed irreconcilable outside the arena. Abortion on demand and without a Abortion is murder! Thou shalt not kill! But inside, though some empty chairs and graduation caps with baby footprints represented protests, generally the president was warmly received. A small handful of hecklers were drowned out by the crowd chanting, We are ND, Notre Dame. The president preached common ground. So let us work together to reduce the number of women seeking abortions. Let's reduce unintended pregnancy. Let's make adoption more available. Let's provide care and support for women who do carry their children to term. When we open up our hearts and our minds to those who may not think precisely like we do or believe precisely what we believe, that's when we discover at least the possibility of common ground. The crowd was respectful. I know there's a lot of controversial views about what he stands for and everything, but it's also the President of the United States. But clearly many disagree. There was no common ground on slavery, no common ground on the Holocaust, and abortion is one of those issues. There is no common ground. Originally, President Obama had not planned on discussing this issue at such length, but he decided to seize the opportunity of the controversy to talk about common ground. Diane. Okay, Jack, you mentioned the Supreme Court nomination and the fact that this issue is sure to be front and center when that comes down the pike. When does it come? When do we get the nominee? Well, we're told not to expect it in the next coming days, although it could happen this week, not likely, but certainly in the next couple of weeks. We're told that the uh, final candidates are in the final vetting process, although President Obama has not yet met with any of them, which is, of course, a key moment.